all right guys so today's video is about watch it ultra so i'll be showing you how you can connect watch it ultra to android phone let's get down to business so the first thing to do is to switch on your bluetooth your data and location so i'm going to switch on my bluetooth my data or my wi-fi and my location which is also gps the next thing to do is to unbox this guy and switch on the dual mode so let me quickly unbox from the smartwatch manual you can see recommended app is Arifine, which you can see here i'm going to show you another app you can use in case Arifine did not work for you the next thing you are going to see in the box is the wireless charger the next thing you are going to see in the box is the strap and here is the watch itself so that's pretty much everything you are going to find in the box to switch it on you have to press this button that's the power button down here and you can see it smartwatch so the first one go up which is here just slide it through the next thing to do is to go to the settings and turn on the dual mode so let's go to the settings and turn on the dual mode the dual mode is on this icon here this bluetooth icon select that and you're going to see your dual mode here make sure it is turned on like this okay the next thing to do is to download Arifi app from google play store all right so go to your google play store you are going to see Arifi app you can also scan the qr code on your smartwatch manual and you can also use the qr code on your watch which you can see here now let's connect up our watch by launching our Arifine hub. So I'm going to launch the Arifine hub right now and it's going to show me user privacy. Agree to that and let it allow your physical activities. Select allow. Allow your phone call. Select allow. Allow your contact. Select allow. And allow you to find, connect, and determine relative position of nearby devices. Select allow. Manage phone calls. Select allow. Just grant all permission. Select allow for everything. Now you get this page where you are asked to log in so if you have gmail you can just log in and if you don't have gmail or you don't want to use the login just come here and select login directly so it's going to skip the whole process but here i recommend you use your gmail okay so here i'm going to select gmail and select my name that is my email address and now you can see sign in successfully okay so when you sign in successfully with your email it will give you uh, access to some other features of this app just select this arrow by the side and if you can find the name of your smartphone user interface here select it if not select others and continue so i'm going to select back option here so here it says as you enable notification user permission select go to set and here you can now see you have the notification access page find your Arifine app and make sure you toggle it on that is you allow Arifine app to send notification to your smartwatch so once you have done this select back option and now select this my option down here on the dashboard and select that is going to take you to the connection page of the Arifine watch now we can connect our smartwatch 8 ultra to our phone the next thing to do is to select search device search device here select allow and make sure you grant permission just come here select permission and make sure all permission are granted as you can see not allow is for camera and also location so select camera and select allow only while using app select the back option and it is going to go here as you can see camera is now under allow now for the location select that and select allow and also select back option make sure it is there now we have no permission deny here everything has been allowed okay now you can select your back option back option once again and select search device now it's going to search for our device which is our watch 8 ultra as you can see watch has appeared this is uh the name of our watch watch 8 ultra it's showing watch and it's showing the numbers that is the app connection address which you can see here is Thales. so we are going to select that and let it connect and this thing is actually going off too much so i'm going to set the time screen now okay so let's come back to that let me go to the watch and you are going to select the time screen go to the setting where is the setting so setting is here now you are going to see 
scroll down a bit you are going to see screen time select screen time and increase it to as much as you want i will pick 60 seconds here so it won't be going off when i need it to stay on okay so now it will stay on now as you can see on our phone we have bluetooth pairing request select pair when you select pair it's going to pair up with your watch and you have your watch 8 ultra connector as you can see our bluetooth here as shown here now i would suggest to do one more thing now go to your bluetooth settings like this okay and select this gear icon by the side and make sure you have your call option toggle on and your audio option toggle on so that you can use it to receive call okay so you can press the back option and that is that launch the app and do some other settings so let's go back to the option and you can see our watch has been connected to confirm that select the find option go to this device settings here select device settings and let it load up as you can hear the sound from this advert is sounding from the watch okay so just keep this advert so let's skip up here and close it and select this find device and you can see that our watch is ringing that means it is truly connected now if you don't want the sound to come out from your watch all you have to do is to go to that bluetooth settings once again and select this gear icon by the side and toggle off audio like this when you toggle it off sound will not be coming out from your smartwatch 8 ultra it will be coming out from your phone okay so that is how to stop the audio coming out from your watch to start coming out from your phone all right so now let's launch our app once again and here i'm going to show you how to set up the notification whatsapp notification so go to your message reminder here select message reminder and make sure your whatsapp notification is toggle on here as you can see it is toggle on and others are so toggle on so if i have any message from instagram whatsapp or any other one like facebook and twitter is going to drop on this smart watch here now let me test it and let's see if it is going to work so here is my smartphone and i'm going to send a message to this smart watch have you subscribed all right as you can see the message i just dropped on my phone and here is the message on the smart watch showing of you subscribed so that is how to receive whatsapp message on your watch 8 ultra the next one i'm going to show you is how to change the time okay as you can see the time on our smartwatch is showing 15 49 which is 24 hours format so all you have to do is to go back to the settings and go to the time setting okay so sometimes this work and sometimes it does not work okay so let me just show you quickly how you can do that now what i would suggest to do is to go to your settings of your smartphone go to the setting of your smartphone that is your main setting and you go to your date and time okay let's go to our date and time here and now you select your date and time and make sure you toggle off the 24 hours format of your phone as you can see I'm using 24 hours format here so I'm going to toggle it off and you can see it is now on 12 hours format on the phone okay so the next thing to do here is to uh, minimize that I can close that and relaunch my iRefine app then I will now go to my iRefine app and select synchronize system time when I select that that should affect my watch and change it to 12 hours format but as you can see it is not changing is still at 24 hours format on my smartwatch so just as i've said sometimes it works sometimes it does not work so you can keep selecting that and see if it's going to change or not but as you can see it is not changing you can try it some other time and also you can use another app which is smartberry app you can use this smartberry app this has 24 hours and 12 hours format you can connect your watch 8 ultra to it and it's going to sync up so with that being said let me show you how to change the dial watch face of your watch 8 ultra you go to the dial settings so you go back here let's go back and you are going to see these options now select dial settings 
and it's going to load up the dive page so in case you want to use your picture you can come down here and select diy die when you select that you are going to see the default watch here okay so you can select your own picture and it's going to ask you select picture or online wallpaper select select picture and it's going to show you your pictures so here i'm going to pick this picture here and once i'm okay with the picture select complete and you can see the picture is here already if you want to zoom in you can zoom in and if you want to shrink out you can shrink out but here i'm going to zoom in so that i can have space for the time by the side so you select the tick option up here and you can see it's showing you you can move the time to any position you like and you can also change the font color so you are going to select just anywhere and you can see here you can also move it to any portion that you want i really like this here so if i want to change it to another color i can select that color palette and select yellow and it's going to change it here so when i'm okay i select the tick option here and select save so when i select save it's going to upload it to my watch watch face so let's just wait for it to upload it as you can see the symbol on the watch it is loading it up so let's wait for it now you can see our watch is having the new watch face which is looking beautiful here so that is how to change the wallpaper and also if you want to change it to the ones that are there already you can come to die more okay so let die more and you are going to see recommend and new listing you can see some of this thing that looks like b here you have to get it from watching adverts from this app okay so if you want to get free ones you are going to see free ones that have no cost just look at the underneath you are going to see free there and the ones that are free you can select it and it's going to work for you so let's pick this one and we are going to select redeem now and you are going to see congratulations use immediately when you select that it's going to start uploading it to your smartwatch as you can see it is uploading it already so we have to wait for it to complete uploading and you are going to see the new watch face so this is the new watch face and if you have any issue or any question please let me know down there in the comment section and that is how to connect watch 8 ultra 